What's going on, Fish Freaks? Welcome back to the Treehouse. Special, special day today. Elijah is coming down. If you don't remember who Elijah is, I mentioned him in uh, in one of my videos just talking about brain tumors. Brain tumors are just all over my life, it seems like. I had a contest uh, many months ago to come fish with me, to write in and just, you know, say something inspirational, say something about yourself with the make every cast count hashtag. And uh, obviously his story, uh, caught my heart pretty hard so i'm going to pick him up me and ocean spin girl are going to go pick him up we're going to go fishing today and just kind of hang out you know spend some time together uh I've got his room set up he's going to be staying with us of course we're just moving in so it's not it's not much to speak of but we got a we got a couple of beds and um got them in their own little space down here it's going to be elijah and his mom coming down but what he doesn't know is that favorite fishing usa has hooked him up big time and I want that to be a surprise when he gets here, uh, when he comes down to uh, put his stuff in, then he's gonna see all the, all the favorite fishing stuff laid out. So I'm gonna lay that out right now, and then we gotta go get him from the airport, and we're gonna film his reaction. Elijah, this is your unboxing right in here. It's gonna be here for you though, don't worry. Got a couple of hats, little tees, four. Four of the six stick reels in here. This is so cool. Big shout out to Favorite Fishing. Yo, I feel like I did a pretty decent job with that. And then rods. Okay. Lay that out. LFG, Fishing Freak, Make Every Cast Count rod. He's got two six stick rods, and he's got another big sexy. And I think that'd be a nice thing to come back to. Let me know in the comments if you think I did a good job with the layout. I don't know. Could have done better. Maybe should have got Ocean Spoon Girl on that one. Pretty hot day ahead of us. Um, at least it's going to be a little breezy. I'm going to say, hey man, how hard do you want to fish? <laughs> he may not want to fish too hard because he's got a brain tumor. He's had some vision problems. He's had, had some issues, so he may not want to stay out too hard. But And he's um, not used to this Texas heat. Yeah, that too. I'll take him out fishing as hard as he wants to go. That's for sure. I think that's him. I think I see him. Oh. Hey! Thank you so hello. much. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. How was the uh, flight? It was good. It was really short. Good. Like, uh, we moved in. There's a little surprise flying. down there for you, by the way. <gasps> no way. Yeah. No. Go check it out. No way. Yeah, man. That's oh, for him. Just me? That's from Favorite Fishing USA. You got Signature Series LFG rod. You got another big sexy in there. You got two six six. Oh my god. You got four reels. You're hooked up. Is that gonna work? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so you got some work to do. You got some combos to oh, assemble. You got some work to do. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting all this. Congratulations, bud. Yeah. Oh, Uh, Elijah's, he's already got his little surprise, so he's, he's all hooked up. We're out, we're just hanging in the bass boat right now. Are you excited to be here, man? Very, very excited. Are you pumped? I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> it's, it's insane. You're the only fishing freak that's ever, ever stayed at our house, I'll tell you that. He's got to rig up some tackle as well, since he's got some, some new rods and reels. Putting 16 pound fluoro on here. He's up above the boat. <laughs> it does look, looks like you're jigging from right here too. Got two rods rigged up for Elijah and the third one uh, we're gonna do a spinning rod and this took me many years to try to figure this out to get the least amount of line twists as possible. On bait casting you want the line to come off the same way it goes on to the spool so it's like this when you're reeling it in. With a spinning rod it's different because that spool is facing an opposite direction. So you want to spool it like this where it comes off the top instead of rolling on its side. So that's the main thing to keep in mind. It's the other thing with braid. You want to make sure it's really tight on the spool so it doesn't slip. So it's not gaining any line. That's exactly what will happen if, if you don't tighten it down. You can put a little piece of electrical tape on there or just cinch it down really hard. So we got a small piece of tape here. There we go. Put it on there nice and tight. There we go, coming off, coming off like a champ. Another thing that happens with spinning reels is that the line, if you're using braid, it will dig down into the spool, 
So the idea right here is, and try to put as much pressure on without the drag slipping. Reel me in. Does it feel like you got a Mondo? Yes. <laughs> Way better. Yeah, it's cleaner, it's tight. Let's get a, let's get a tight shot of that. Whereas before it was kind of kinking into the, the spool itself. That was maybe three things, maybe three tips right there to help uh, line twist on your spinning reels. Okay, I think we're good to go. Elijah, we are here. We're at the lake, finally. I'm ready. Yes. And you've got all your, your combos over there ready to go. I wanted to pick a lake that had some docks. So that way we are able to kind of get in some shade and get, you know, the bass like shade. They don't have eyelids. If I didn't have eyelids, I certainly wouldn't be out in the sun right now. Ooh, there we go. This is actually Elijah's first time in a bass boat, right? So, this is a pretty special day. Oh, we timed it perfect. It's so majestic. It was majestic. Oh, we had a little rebound there. Okay, don't go anywhere. Uh, don't break the speed limit. Uh, I can't think. Better young, young man to come down and fish with me. Uh, a lot of this is new new experiences for him, so you know he'll ask simple questions and I'll, I'll explain it. Something I've done a hundred times, but it's making me think about it even more. And he's, he's so curious about everything. I love fishermen that are curious that come and fish with me. I was asking everybody questions when I was his age. How do you do this? What's this for? Why do you need this thing? What is this thing all about? You know, what color should I throw right here? Have you ever caught fish at this time of year? Da 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 da. That's what Elijah reminds me of, is me and my younger self asking tons of questions. That's how you know someone is super interested. So regardless of the fishing y'all, this is a really good thing for me. To be able to connect with Elijah, knowing he has a tumor, He's gonna be going through the same thing uh, that I had to go through. Hope, pray to God he doesn't, but if he does, you know, I'm here for him. I can kind of walk him through it. And it's a scary time, you know, especially being able to relate to someone that's, uh, that's a fisherman, someone you watch on YouTube. Like, I'm totally, totally happy to, uh, to be that connection for him. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's positivity. We like positivity. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. Good to go. All right, take me to the fish, Elijah. Like I drive? Let's go to that dock. Let's docks? Go. You feeling docks? Let's go to that dock and throw a jig and then a frog. Okay, you're speaking my language. I like I like the way you think. <sighs> Okie dokie. I'm gonna start you out with a jig. That's what you said, right? Yep. Here's the deal, Elijah. We gotta figure out what these fish want. Where, where they're at, what they want. Gonna make a little switch out here. Put on a swim bait. Is that the ball spawn? It is, yeah, the exo swim. Oh. Four inch. It's a good lure. The little screw lock, you just screw that in there. And it's real important on swim bait to come right up the middle so it's perfectly wobbling. Put it like just like that. And then you wanted to learn a new knot. Twisty tie knot. Okay, so I go through, I twist it eight times, go through one hole, and then go through the hole, let it down, pull. Okay, through the eye. Okay. Make yourself a loop like that. I'm gonna come back down, and then you wanna go through there four times. Three, four. And then you just kinda pull it like that until it kinda gets tight. And then. This is your favorite knot? This is my favorite knot for fluorocarbon because it has no tension on the base of the knot. You know how other knots will kind of get wiry as you're uh -huh. cinching them down? This one does not. So I'll just wet it a little bit. I'll pull it. And then... Dude, that's so perfect. It's perfect, yeah, because when you look at it, there's no kink at all at the base of the knot. And it's very, very simple. So you can tie that real quick. There you go, there's your uni knot. That, that one. Got one? Oh. Really? I had one. You get slammed? Yeah. Mm. Might be onto something there, oh Elijah. Oh my gosh, he's right here. Oh man, he sucked it. Decent fish. Come here, buddy. Oh. There we go, Elijah. Lost. Texas bass. Sniff, you want to give it a sniff? Yeah. Yeah, he did come out of the grass. Look at this one. Grip and sniff. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get a whole face full. Is it good? Yeah, kind of. I kind of do taste the smell of the honey. Ah, it's sweet. It's sweet. 
Ah, there we go. That's it did a. On the nose. It did it get you get a little scrape on there? No. Oh man, you can really see the lateral line on that fish too. It's crazy. All right, fish, we're gonna let you go. Enjoyed giving you a dangle. Thank you. That's my third bite on a jig, and that's the only one I've connected with, so not doing very good on my jig bites today. Elijah's had a couple bites on a little swim bait right around the grass. I think it came out of the grass, probably chasing bluegill or something like that. I don't know what that grass is called, but that's what it was sitting on. So we might fish some Texas rig and some jigs around the edges of that stuff. It's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> this is how you do thumbnails, Elijah. You just you just get on the, get oh, on the wait, weeds. Wait, wait, I get the hooks out, right? There it is. <laughs> That's good. Elijah's tying his first uh, uni knot successfully. You got it, dude. Really? It looks good. Cool. You've never been for a ride in a bass boat? But not like a bass boat. Not, not a bass boat? Yeah. I think we should probably go for a ride in the bass boat. All right. I think that probably needs to happen. We need to get this young man a ride in a, in a bass boat. I may or may not let him drive this boat by the end of the day. Let me know in the comments if you think I should, but I think I know the answer. Step one, start it up. This is your, uh, get your gas right here. That's forward, neutral, and then back. It's safer like that because if I'm going down the lake and I just fall out, God forbid, my foot goes off the gas and the boat just stops. And then we launch. You ready for launch? I think I'm ready for launch. Okay. How's that? It's crazy. <laughs> It looks too good, doesn't it? Yeah. We're currently sitting in the back of a pocket. Elijah's throwing the frog. Tons of little dollar lily pads back here. Good looking stuff. This is the same area that um, the guys from the UK caught them good. I don't know if the fish are still chasing bluegill and stuff back, like that back here, but it looks amazing. If you come back here and you don't throw a frog, then you're just, you're sick. Big bullfrog, I'm going through and just see a giant like 10 pound bass. A 10 pound bass eating a bullfrog, that'd probably be one of the coolest things ever captured. I'd like to wake up to that, like is it an alarm clock. Mm -hmm. OSG was nice enough to make us little lunch packs today. It's very rare by the way, Elijah. Lunch pack? I, I never get lunch packs. I, I mean, maybe actually. like once or twice it's happened to me. Ever? Yeah, from, from OSG. I know, right? I mean, I eat great at home, but when I walk out that door in the morning, mm. it's usually just some Chick-fil-A. Let's do an unboxing, a cooler unboxing. I don't think I've ever done that on this channel. Best water in the game. Best water in the game right there, mm. Aquafina. Oh, oats and honey, mmm. Fruit and nut bar. <laughs> What's your excitement level on that? <laughs> Smells like I just ate a lemon zest. OSG approved lunch. What do you think? What do you think about being in the command console right now? Do you fill this up at the gas station just with oh, regular yeah. gas? Yep. Fill it up with unleaded. I gotta put treatment stuff in there every time though. They put uh, water in the gasoline nowadays. Why? They, I, they're trying to cheapen it up, make it less effective. You gotta put a little uh, nitro fuel in there. There was literally a guy that came outside and he's like, if you won't catch the big boys, you need to go all the way back here. He didn't talk like RT Gibbons, but <laughs> he did say that there's a little opening back here and that's where some big fish live. And uh, I trust the guy that's living here all the time. He's full time. God, can you imagine if like an eight pounder just oh, I'd freak out. Blows up on it. Mmm. Oh no. Mmm. This is a toughie. This is tour grade casting right here. I'm gonna try it. Okay. That wasn't very good. I'm gonna try it through that weightless in there. Yeah, you wanna fling it? Yeah. No, you can do it. You think they got lied to us? I think so. You think so? I think yeah. he's just like, he's, we need to get these guys out of my dock area. Yeah. Get them stuck back there in the lily pads. Okay. It's gone. It's we gotta, oh. 
Have a nibble? No way! Oh, he's stuck. Toy water. Oh, that's gonna break. He didn't lie to us. What am I caught you on? You caught another line. Am I caught on the line? I think, yeah. If you were in the Bassmaster Classic right now? Uh, and you had... I think I told back then. I'll you would? for you. Okay, let's, let's try to get in there. I've been preparing for this my whole life. <laughs> You've been preparing for this your whole life? Oh, yeah. Uh, is that... Your hook isn't even in him. What is going on with that? Is that a different hook, or is that... I'm so I confused. Oh, he came out! He came out! Oh, gosh. There he is. Barely Hurry, hook. Yeah, grab him real quick. There we go. Barely. Look at, oh my gosh, it fell out. Well, that was a lot of, that took a lunch break. That took old man's advice. And uh, took a long time. I don't know what his definition of big boys is, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's no Mondo. It's a nice fish though. Okay. Smells great too. Little back here in the pads. Okay, see ya. Oh, I caught on my thumb. Mm, yes, the remnants of today. It's kind of all we caught. For real. Struggle bus. We were on the struggle bus. We gotta take it in early all because uh it's freaking a thousand degrees out here. So uh we both have brain tumors. I've got a headache from not drinking enough water and having a tumor in my face. So does Elijah. He's he's got like constant headaches. And he's lost vision in his eye a couple of times, which is not good. Even though he wants to be out here all day. I had to make the decision to go back because it's time for this boy to get some get some food. They've been moving back in Missouri. They're doing the same thing me and Ocean Spoon Girl doing. Had to come down here and they had to wake up super early. So he's gassed. So we're gonna get a fresh start in the morning. We learned a bunch of stuff today. I think Elijah learned a bunch. I learned a snail knot. I learned how to launch a boat. I learned how to drive a boat. Yeah, we, we may not show that on camera. Ah. <sighs> Day two morning of Elijah being here. I gotta go wake him up right now. It's kinda early. I want him to get a little extra rest because he's had a long, long week. But I also want to get him out on the water. He said he's never caught a white bass. Uh, we're gonna hit a lake that's on the way to the airport. Give him maximum fishing time. I'm gonna get this kid some fish and just treat him to a good time, you know? Him and his mom. While they're being here, Ocean Spoon Girl has been with uh, his mom all day. They've just been relaxing. So hopefully they. They got a good night's sleep, but it's time to get up. Smell the fishes. Pretty excellent. Mm -hmm. It's the last one. It's the last one of the batch. You're lucky, man. It's pretty good. We only have about three hours to fish. I seem to do a lot of those on my on my channel, you know? Limited time restraint videos. It's probably re really realistic though. I don't have time to mess around. We gotta go catch some fish. Elijah, first white bass experience. We gotta wait for, there's still a few down there. We gotta wait for the school to- Oh my gosh, it just got hammered. Got hammered? Yeah. Here, reel it, reel it, there you go. Should get bit right now, there you go. A little better, a little more beef. Yeah, there's another school under the boot right now. A little bit more beef on it. Oh my god. Yeah, you see you brought him up. Brought that one up right there. Elijah's got like three hours to fish. I think he's already caught three or four. We've got some more fish under the boat, so we're gonna we're gonna continue to slay. You just you gotta fish. This guy doesn't need any help. He's taking many fish off the hook in his days. Feet. You got one? Maybe there are some. Oh, jeez. That's, that's literally the fish. That's the fish he caught. Look at this. Oh, he choked it. He choked it. He wanted it. That's down. There. Easy. Elijah, Blink throw at bit. it. There he goes. Easy peasy. Okay. I think you're on like seven or eight now. You want to get on him? Keep her going. No, I'm just, I'm enjoying filming you, buddy. You got another one. This one feels like a better one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good one. <laughs> good old tasties. Oh, he's gonna go away. Get away, I feel it. There it goes. Okay, get a pick. There I go. Hooked up again. Oh, this is a good one. Got a drag puller. Oh, He fighter. was just, he was a fighter. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's actually really 
Interesting. Hybrid bass will usually have that, but that's not a hybrid. That's just a regular wet bass. Good job. Oh I yeah, think. I know. I feel that sandpaper. Yeah. The little shad tongue. The shad sticker tongue. The sniff. How's that one smell? Shad. Yeah. <laughs> it's got shad breath. The airport is literally like right over there. I can see airplanes. An airplane right there. You see, you see why I like these guys? Yeah. They're kind of fun. They fight hard. Yeah. They're also tasty. Okay. There he goes. Free. Free Willy. Nice. Nice one, mate. Don't know why I just had an Australian accent, but. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they don't smell as good as bass. They don't smell as good as bass. I know. All right, Elijah's caught a mess of white bass now. Got to experience that action. Had a couple of good ones. We're gonna try to uh, catch a few large mouths. Okay, Elijah, give us an update. We're in on the gas. It's not good. I'm going on trolling motor right now. Positive side is we're really close to the airport. We're gonna have Ocean Spoon Girl bring his mom over here and pick him up, and we could take him to the airport just fine. Getting myself. All the way back over there. That's gonna be a doozy. I gotta think this one out. Sorry we ran out of gas, buddy. Fine. You're just along for the adventure today. Oh, yeah. It's it's a serious adventure. At least we crushed some white bass this morning, you know? Okay. Time to unload on the precious cargo. Thank you, sir. I said thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me You're give welcome. you a hug. You, you guys saved the day. This actually worked out because we we're closer to the airport over here, but Fun. okay, I will get all this stuff to you. Don't worry. Okay, we've said our goodbyes. OSG is taking them to the airport right now. That was a really close call right there. I've got to put some gasoline in this deal. I will tell you guys a little bit more about this trip. As soon as I get this vessel back to the treehouse, right now that's our main goal. Drink up, Silver Bullet. I know you're thirsty. Okay, we're still on E. We've got a little bit. Just made it back safely. I had that two gallon gas tank and uh, anyway, that was enough to get us back. OSG delivered Elijah and his mom, Natasha, to the airport. They are back on their way to Missouri. Now the fishing was good this morning. Caught a bunch of white bass. Elijah had a good time. He said he wanted to go catch those. He'd never caught one before. And he enjoyed it a lot. And you know, the bass fishing was tough down here this week. Not a whole lot to speak of that fishing for bass during the middle of the day. It's just tough. But this trip was really less about fishing and more about just spending time with somebody else that has a brain tumor and getting that relief. Elijah was diagnosed with his brain tumor not too long ago and I talked to him a lot about it off camera you know that's not something you really just want to go blast it out and quite honestly it's something that uh, he's he's kind of kept to himself and he's been uh, very very strong about his situation I was really touched by him watching the videos on Willis and he named his tumor Willis jr. and he's his confidence level and his attitude is way up here and that's why I enjoyed hanging out with him so much. When you see that kind of attitude out of somebody that has any kind of bad illness going on, it just inspires you to be a better, stronger person and not complain about the little things that are going on in life. Uh, his tumor that he has, it's a pituitary tumor. There's a lot of different kinds of tumors uh, and he's gonna have more analysis done in the summer. The same time I'm going to get uh, Willis reanalyzed to see where we need to treat it, which direction. It's growing and everything like that. Um, so he'll find out more this summer, but pituitary tu tumors are, uh, they can be really difficult because your pituitary gland is a very sensitive system. I mean, that's something that uh, regulates your hormones and all your other glands and uh, having a tumor right there is a really bad spot. It's also a difficult spot to have surgery in, kind of like mine was sitting on the, uh, the bundle of nerves called the Circle of Willis. That's where the name came from. It's hard to get in there. I understand uh, the fears and concerns and everything, and he's taken it super well. Uh, I just want you guys to give him a lot of support. This is kind of ironic how I made this other video uh, about tumors and, you know, Simone, the other YouTuber that does the robots, she was having her surgery actually, um, well, today while I'm making this video, while I'm taking Elijah fishing 
the other guy I talked about in the video. So it's really just ironic how that worked out. So I'm wishing her the best. And Elijah, I think, is going to be just fine because he has a super positive attitude. And that, a lot of times, is what you need to get through those tough situations. So there was a lot of conversations off camera that were really important to me uh, and I think to, to him as well just to kind of you know hash out some of the things that go on with with brain tumors and some of the things you feel and uh, anxieties and things like that and that to me uh, was the most important thing about this trip just uh, making sure that he felt comfortable his mom was comfortable and they just kind of got a break away from dealing with doctors and dealing with the frustrations of just everything and dealing with a tumor and uh, just kind of getting to hang out with somebody that's already had had a tumor had the surgery been through that situation ask a lot of questions and get those answers just from a real person you know that's not a doctor somebody that's been through it so that was really important to me the last thing i'll say is fishing to me you know, when I had my first back surgeries and things like that, it was a release to go and just get away from everything. Fishing is a mechanism that will help you just relieve what you got going on in your life, no matter what it is. And uh, if anything else, if you've never been fishing before and you're watching this video, give it a shot. Go, go try something easy. Catfishing on the bank, bluegill fishing, just do something to get your mind off what's going on. And whatever you've got going on, guys, uh, my prayers are with you. This trip has been very humbling for me just to throw back those those memories and, uh, and the, those feelings that I went through. Um, and I just want to thank you guys again uh, for all the support. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in for, to today's video. If you want to check out more action, you know what to do. Subscribe right here to the channel. Hit the ding-dongs for notifications. And we'll see you on the next one.